This video series is going to replicate the steps used in a previous video series for APEX 18.1. The scenario is the same, a database and web application for an animal shelter. In this particular series, I will have Oracle XE 11.2 Apex 19.1, which is why I'm doing this new series, and SQL Developer 19.1. If you want to work along with the series, you can go to this website and download the scripts for the 18.1 series. I will follow the same steps other than making adjustments for Apex 19.1. In this video, I'm going to use a script that I downloaded from this website. I'm going to open up Oracle SQL Developer and run that script, which will create a schema. A schema is a container for database elements under that particular account name, also sometimes referred to as a username, schema user account. After I have run that script and I have that schema, then I will create a workspace in Apex. So I will log in as the administrator for Apex overall and create a workspace. And a workspace is also a container, but it's within Apex and it contains design elements for a web application. So I've already come to this website and I've downloaded the zipped file that contains scripts by clicking on this button. Now what I'm going to do is go to SQL Developer. Actually, before I do that, I need to go find the, the script. So I will come here to where I've unzipped that file and see all these files that we will use in later videos. Right now, I want Create Schema. I'm going to open that in Notepad by doing a right click and selecting Open with Notepad. While I'm here, before I copy it into SQL Developer, I'm going to make a change here. You can do this or you can choose not to. I've already created several schemas for previous videos, so I need to change the name of my schema. So I'm going to do a Control H to do a find and replace. And I'm going to replace animal underscore shelter. I didn't get that spelled right. with animal underscore shelter 191. So I'll know that this schema goes with this particular video series. So I'll do a replace all. And I'm creating a schema or an account that has a password of my underscore password. You can set that to whatever you want. So now that I've made those changes, I can copy that and go to SQL Developer. In SQL Developer, I'm logged in as Sys. I'll go ahead, actually, and disconnect and reconnect. So over here, I have these settings for connections, and I want to go in as System Administrator. So I type in my password, and then I copy in the commands from Notepad. And then I will click on this icon, which runs all the commands at one time. So I select that, and I see the grants have succeeded. I will need to come over here and create a connection. So I'll right-click on connections or click the plus sign. And this is going to be PCXE, and this will be for animal underscore shelter 191. So I filled in the password, the username. I leave this the same because I am working with the locally installed Oracle XE. I can test that. I see it's successful. I can go ahead and save that setting or just do a connect. So I have this when I want to come back later and run commands in SQL Developer. The last thing that I'll do here is I will log into Apex and I'm going to use Workspace Internal, which I only use when I'm going in as the overall administrator of Apex. Normally we'll go in as the developer or administrator of a specific workspace. 
but right now I'm getting ready to create that workspace. So I'm logged in to internal as I see here and I can scroll down to the bottom and see that I'm actually in Apex 19.1. I can verify that. I need to manage workspaces. I could have clicked the button also, but I'll come in here and do Create Workspace. And this is going to be Animal. This can have spacing in the name. You cannot have that in the schema name at the database level. Just to illustrate that, I will put a space here. And it will be Animal Space Shelter 191. And then I will click Next. And do I want to use an existing schema? Yes, I do. I want to use the schema I just created. So I can click for the list and select animal underscore shelter 191, which is in the database itself. And I'll go ahead and click Next. And I'll do AS for under AS underscore for Animal Shelter Administrator. I don't want to have too many accounts with the same name. And we already have one for admin. I will also add 191 out here. You can do that or not. I create a password. And you can put the name or not. You must have an email address even if it's not valid. This is not a valid email address, but I must provide one. So I'll go ahead and click Next and click Create. Click Done. And then I will come in to manage the workspaces. And I see that I have Animal Shelter 191. If I go back to Workspaces and Manage Developers and Users, then I'm going to filter on 191 and see that I have an administrator account, AS underscore admin 191. So I'm ready to get started with building our database and creating the application.